Hey all, I'm calling this Sheet Metal Gems 1 because you can expect a lot of sheet metal content to be coming your way. Today I'll be working on this truck bumper, starting with the contour flange. To make it, all I did was sketch on the end face of what I made up to this point. This is designed to avoid the existing part with a simple two-line sketch. Fusion 360 is smart enough to add appropriate bends. All I need to do is select the bend profile, then the edge it should start from. To add additional edges, make sure to hold Command or Control just like you do when adding edges to a fillet. It's a little hard to see what I've done, so let's rotate around for a better view. What you might notice is that it was able to miter where those two flanges come together. It's done it in a way that meets snugly without overlap. Enough admiring that beautiful miter though, let's make another flange. In this example, I have a sketch created, but it doesn't meet with the existing part. Will that cause an issue for Fusion? No, it doesn't. Fusion is able to interpolate how to bring these two together and saves me from having to fix the sketch or add additional material to the start edge. Next, every bumper needs some speed holes, and as much as I wanted to use the new arc slots here, I couldn't find a good excuse. And, unfortunately because I was distracted by that, I made a cut across an angled face without flattening first. This means that those cuts aren't normal to the thickness, which will either be impossible to make depending on my equipment, or add unnecessary complexity. We can fix this very easily though. We'll flatten it, add a new sketch, and project both the front and back faces of the existing geometry, which will allow me to easily remove these complex angled cuts. When I'm done, I can refold it back up and move on to the next step. In the next step, I want to make you aware that the powerful direct editing capabilities you use in other parts of Fusion will work here as well. I want this front flange to come in a bit, so I'll grab my move face command, set the pivot at the inner corner, then rotate to my liking. Looks great. Finally, you might be wondering why I only have half a bumper. The only real answer to that is to save time. Because did you know you can mirror your sheet metal designs? You do need to switch to the modeling environment to grab and execute the mirror command, and we'll combine while we're here as well. But once you're back in the sheet metal workspace, you can unfold it just like before. I couldn't believe that the first time I saw it. Really powerful stuff. Anyway, if you're unfamiliar with this model, you shouldn't be. It's part of the sheet metal challenge going on this month that has some incredible prizes at stake. Make sure to submit your entries, which I'm sure will put this to shame. See the description for details. If you're watching this after the challenge concludes, make sure to check out the winning entries and subscribe so you don't miss future challenges. Thanks for watching. See ya.